Well, first of all, good afternoon, everybody. I am Beverly Richards. I'm one of the owners of LDR Interactive. We're a web design and SEO agency in Mason, Ohio. I have a presentation attached. I'm gonna share the screen. I'd like to start out though by saying, if you have questions, I'll gladly send you this presentation. Just email me at beverly at ldrit.com and I'll repeat it at the end, it's in a screen. So I'm gonna share a screen now. All right, uh, hopefully everybody can see the screen okay. And I have limited access if there's a problem with it. So anyway, LDR, this is us. All right. Very quickly, I just want to share my uh, my partner. Not only is Lewis my business partner, he's also my husband. So I'm uh, here eager to show what we do in our fun time. So the big question for everybody here is, are you brave? I'm about to spill some beans here and I don't mean coffee beans. I'm going to go over some things that are difficult, some things that are easy. Grab your notepad. At the end of the day, I hope you learn something. So the big question is, what makes a website rank? All right, so what makes it rank? Several things. Some of this, like I said, is going to be a little more complicated. On-page content. Google loves quality information. So do your customers. Give them answers to their questions. YouTube Embed, the second largest search engine is uh, owned by the first largest search engine. YouTube is owned by Google. Get plenty of videos out there, embed YouTube videos in your website, and then in the YouTube, link it back uh, both ways. So YouTube links to your website, and your website links to YouTube. So when I talk about links, I am talking about both links from one page to another to another, makes it easy for the person to uh, tour your website. Plus outside links, that could be everything from Yellow Pages to Yext and Yelp, uh, Facebook. Uh, there's plenty of them out there and I'll touch base on it later. Good quality links, there are so many garbage links out there, it's not funny. So uh, quality links, and I am seeing some flashing on my screen, I hope it's gone now. Um, and your domain URL. Again, if you have specific questions, kindly just send me a message. All right, so, and I'm, pardon the delay, I'm trying to hide things so I can see the screen. SEO is, I mentioned before, that's my title, that's what I do. What SEO really means is that we're optimizing the website so Google loves you. And I think when you go through this, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. Here's your first big takeaway. Grab this, run with it. What is the big magic trick to getting a website found? The big, we well, all darn it. Folks, I am so sorry, I'm having problems with my screen. And of course it's being recorded, so y'all get to enjoy this, right? Magic trick. I hope you can see this okay. I had to change screens. Magic trick. Can you see this okay? Wonderful. All right, keyword. Keywords, if you have one page, folks, one page for each product or service, and each page has its own uh, keyword phrase, that means you're now linking five, six, seven pages to Google. Google will love it because there's no competition having multiple pages with the same keyword. People always ask me, how do I start with keywords? When you start with keywords, what you're looking for is what words are your customers doing 
typing in a Google search. The best way I've found to do this is to actually go and check out your competitors. What are their keywords? What's it gonna take to beat them? Are they ranking good on social media? Are they ranking on Google? There's plenty of things out there. There's so many tools out there to help you check that. But take yourself out there, make a big favor to yourself and actually look at your competitors. Here's an awesome trick. Type in Google search, something that people would use to find you. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. Do you see on the screen, it says search related. I typed in this case, the word realtors. The words at the very bottom of that search screen is saying words that other people commonly use to find realtors. Do this, do this. This is a wonderful trick. And then incorporate those expressions. For instance, uh, oh, what's in here? Realtor definition, National Association of Realtors. This might not have been the best example, but you can see in here, this is words other people are using. Now, when we jump directly into the website itself, the website structure, get out a piece of paper, get out a pen. There is just no better way to do a website than to plan it out ahead of time. Plan out your website. What are the tabs on top? Write great articles. If you were the person searching for your business, what questions would you have? What products or services do you offer? Make sure those titles are fantastic. And then in the first paragraph, give them the answer because then you can always scroll down to explain it later in the content. Websites are organized much like a book. You see the picture there of the book? I put that in there kind of just to make it clear what, what I'm talking about. H1s, H2s, if you're setting up your own website, you'll come across various title tags. And H1 is the page title. So if you have an eight page website, you've got eight H1s. This is the master phrase that Google will see for that page. When you look at the H2, that's a great place to add your geographic area. So in other words, my H1 might be custom website designer. My H2 could be Cincinnati website designer. My H3 is now cinnamon. Oh yeah. And so what we're doing there is what other words would people use other than in my case, website designer. Uh, and when I get to the H4s, that, that's the great time now I'm putting in what products, what services. It's no longer about designing websites. That's just the big picture. What individual items do I do that somebody might want to purchase? So think of this as a book, the title of the book, the title of the chapter, and the subtitles. By organizing this, it makes it very easy for people to follow along. It also makes it very easy for Google to follow along. I couldn't do this properly without giving you a great tip on videos. Videos engage your audience. People love videos. I know H7 has at least two video producers that I have worked with. Wonderful people, they get it. Quality content. Remember the first checklist said YouTube? Engage your audience with creative videos. Uh, websites that have YouTubes, channels in it tend to perform so much better. Add photos to the website. Best yet, add real photos, original photos, photos that add value, because now you're giving credibility and you're given the sense of comfort. You know, everybody in this group here, we're networking people. We understand the know, like, and trust. Well, that's what this is all about. 
have pictures of you and your staff. Have a picture of your building. If you're a restaurant, have pictures of your food. By using stock, you've just lost that opportunity to tell the world what makes you different. They might have found your website, but of course the goal is to get them to actually shop, to buy from you. Why do I have things here about social media? Because it adds credibility to your website. Google actually has something called Google Structure Data. That's just a big fancy word that says what other digital assets belong to the company. So if your business has a Facebook page, a LinkedIn page, a Twitter page, you're really just telling Google, hey, I'm legit, look at me. If you're sending out blogs and newsletters, make sure you've got links to your website and links to your social media. Because again, you're just telling Google with all this, hey, I'm legit, look at me. Google Map Listings. Google My Business, if you don't have one yet, you're welcome to call me and I'll give you some tips over the phone. I'm very sincere with this, but every business that's local should have a Google My Business listing. It gets you on Google Maps. Now, let's say that you don't have a storefront. Still, do it. Create this account. There is an option in there to not have your address shown. But let's uh, if you're in Mason, Ohio, it's still going to thumbtack you as a Mason, Ohio business. If you service, if you're in Mason, Ohio, but you are in a truck and you're going from place to place to place, you put in that in Google My Business, what cities, what communities you serve. So you might do Cincinnati. Do you do Dayton? Tell Google, put it in there. There's plenty of experts out there that can help you with this. You can contact me. And I know H7 is wonderful about training and you will have opportunities to learn more about Google My Business. Very quickly, I wanna mention digital uh, marketing efforts. Directory listings, also known as citations, also referred in many books as uh, Yeah, the directories, uh, backlinks, backlinks. There's so many different titles for them. If you get your website listed in these directories, what you're really telling Google is, I'm legitimate. I belong here. I am. It's basically you're giving Google this credibility that, hey, I'm real. And websites that are set up with these type of listings, guess what, folks? They're more prone to show up in that three pack. They're more prone to show up high because again, we're telling Google with all these little techniques, I'm worthy of ranking high. I think this is self-explanatory, but uh, websites with plenty of reviews are, are uh, the businesses people wanna shop at. So get your five-star reviews, get your happy customers to give them to you. There's so many techniques out there to do them. Uh, I think the best one is simply teach your staff to ask. Uh, when you present them the uh, invoice, hand them your business card, put on the back of your business card. Did I earn your five-star review? If so, and show them how, make it easy for them because they're not gonna do it if it's not easy for them. So I wanna kind of stop at telling you basically what I do. We have clients in 31 states. We do websites, marketing plans, SEO tools, a lot of blogs, a lot of products. So those are really just product lines, right? What we do is we make the phone ring and that's the bottom line. And I've been doing this since 2008. My husband started this in uh, 1999. 
And that's why I was asked to be a featured speaker today. Uh, I do a good job at it. At least I sure think so. We're in 31 states. I want to encourage you to go through, go through these screens, all these little options and try them. Before you spend a dime with anybody, including my company, go through and take these little techniques, write good titles, get yourself on social platform, write good articles, and you'll be surprised what it will do to your website presence. Seeing as this is a referral business, I just uh, group, I just would like to come right out and tell you that one of our specialties is trades businesses. And if you know somebody in trades, they are typically very difficult to place. They are our specialty because we have seen trades people that have walked in this door saying, I'm so busy, it's unreal. You're gonna to have to stop what you're doing. And my response to them is gonna be the same as it would be to you. I hope you grow strong, I hope you grow healthy, and I hope you get employees because that's the real goal. LDR, this is our business. I flew through it fast because this is complicated. I have great notes. I hope you enjoyed them. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I, uh, I only took about 15 minutes. We do have a little bit of time for questions, I, I do believe. Uh, so if you have a question, speak up. 